Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalanya Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 6.8 in the topic Ideal and Real Gases. Number one, the problem solve for Ideal and Real Gases. We are going to solve the problem, the learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in ideal and real gases from Anna University question paper. The example number 16 from May 2019 question paper. CO2 carbon dioxide flows at a pressure of 10 bar and 180 degree Celsius into a turbine located in a chemical plant. And there is there it expands reversibly and adiabatically to a final pressure of 1.05 bar. Calculate the final specific volume, temperature, increase in entropy. Neglect the change in velocity and elevation. If the mass flow rate is 6.5 kg per minute, evaluate the heat transfer rate from the gas and the power delivered by the turbine. Assume CO2 to be perfect gas and CV equal to 0 0.837 kJ per kg Kelvin. So, product the padichite, we have to write down the given data. So, P1 equal to 10 bar. T1 equal to 180 degree Celsius, which is 453 Kelvin. P2 equal to 1.05 bar. Mass M equal to 6.5 kg per minute. And CV equal to 0 0.837 kJ per kg Kelvin. Gas constant for CO2. R equal to universal gas constant. R bar divided by the molecular weight of CO2. So, 8314.3 divided by 44 equal to 189 joules per kg Kelvin. The specific heat at constant pressure, Cp equal to Cv plus R, so 0 0.837 0 plus 0 0.189 equal to 1.026 kJ per kg Kelvin. And specific heat ratio for the carbon dioxide, Cp by Cv, which is 1.026 will be 1 0.837 equal to 1.23. Final temperature for the process, T2 equal to T1 into P2 by P1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, 453 into 1.05 divided by 10 to the power 1.23 minus 1 divided by 1.23 equal to 297.2 Kelvin for the adiabatic process temperature, final temperature. Final specific column V2 equal to RT2 by P2. So, 0 0.189 into 297.2 divided by 105 equal to 0 0.535 meter cube per kilogram. The change in entropy delta S equal to 0 for adiabatic process and the heat transfer for adiabatic process that is also 0. Then the work done for the adiabatic process using the steady flow energy equation W equal to H1 minus H2 which is MCP into T1 minus T2. So, M equal to 6.5 kilogram per minute into 1.026 into 453 minus 297.2 equal to 1039, point, 1039 kilojoules per minute which is 17.32 kJ per second. So, that is the answer to the problem. Example number 17 from November 2017 question paper. A cylinder contains 0 0.168 meter cube of gas at a pressure of 1 bar and temperature of 47 degree Celsius. It undergoes two processes one after the other. The first process the gas compressed to 1 twelfth of the initial original volume to reach 21 bar. Then, it pressure, then its pressure is increased to 30 bar at constant volume. Find the index of compression for the first process, total heat transfer, change in internal energy and the entropy. Take Cp equal to 1.089 and Cv equal to 0 0.837 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. So, problem is detailed. We have to write down the given data. So, given data V1 equal to 0 0.168 meter cube, P1 equal to 1 bar. T1 equal to 47 degree Celsius, which is 320 Kelvin. For the first process, volume V2 equal to V1 by 12, which is 0 0.168 divided by 12 equal to 0 0.014 meter cube. P2 equal to 21 bar and P3 equal to 30 bar. Polytropic index N equal to logarithmic of P2 by P1 divided by logarithmic of V1 by V2, which is logarithmic of 21 by 1 divided by logarithmic of 12. V1 by V2 equal to 12, which is 3.044 divided by 2.8485 equal to 1.23. N value polytropic index equal to 1.23. 
gas constant R equal to Cp minus Cv 1.089 minus 0.837 equal to 0.252 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. Mass of the gas M equal to RT1 by P1 0.252 to 320 divided by 100 into 0 0.168 equal to 4.8 kilogram. Specific heat ratio gamma equal to Cp by Cv 1.089 divided by 0 0.837 equal to 1.3. Final temperature T2 equal to T1 into P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1 by n. So, 320 into 21 by 1 to the power 1 to the power 1.23 minus 1.23, 1.23 minus 1 divided by 1.23, n equal to 1.23. So, calculating 565.5 Kelvin. For polytropic process, delta U equal to U2 minus U1, which is MCV into T2 minus T1. So, M equal to 4.8 into CV equal to 0 0.837 into 565.5 minus 320 equal to 986.3 kilojoules. Then heat transfer for the polytropic process Q1 T equal to gamma minus N by gamma minus 1 into P1 V1 minus P2 V2 divided by N minus 1. Substituting numerical values 1.3 minus 1.23 divided by 1.3 minus 1 into 100 into 0 0.168 minus 21,000 into 0 0.014 divided by 1.23 minus 1. So, sim calculating the heat transfer is minus 12.78 kilojoules. Heat is rejected. The change in entropy for the polytropic process S2 minus S1 equal to M into Cv logarithmic of P2 by P1 plus Cp into logarithmic of V2 by V1. So, S2 minus S1 equal to M equal to 4.8, Cv equal to 0 0.837 into logarithmic of 21 by 1 plus 1.089 into logarithmic of 1 by 12. So, calculating S2 minus S1 equal to 4.8 into 2.55 minus 2.71 equal to minus 0 0.75 kilojoules per Kelvin. Then for constant volume process, T3 equal to T2 into P3 by P2, which is 565.5 into 30 by 21 equal to 807.8 Kelvin. Then the heat transfer for constant volume process, delta E equal to U2 minus U1, which is MCV into T3 minus T2. So, 4.8 into 0 0.837 into 807.8 minus 565.5 equal to 973.7 kilojoules. Then the change in entropy for the constant volume process S3 minus S2 equal to M into Cv into logarithmic of P3 by P2, 4.8 into 0 0.837 into logarithmic of 30 by 21 equal to 1.43 kilojoules per Kelvin. Then the total heat transfer, change in internal energy and entropy for the process. Q equal to Q12 plus Q23 minus 12.78 plus 973.7 equal to 960 0.92 kilojoules. Delta U. So, delta U equal to U3 minus U1, which is U3 minus U2 plus U2 minus U1. So, adding the uh, rend process change in internal energy, we have to add 986.3 plus 973.7 equal to 1960 kilojoules. Delta S, S3 minus S1 equal to S3 minus S2 plus S2 minus S1, 1.43 minus 0 0.75 equal to 0 0.68 kilojoules per Kelvin. So, we stop here. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number. I will respond to your questions. We will meet again in another video lecture in the subject thermodynamics. Until then, bye.